Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my Osaka vlog. It is my third Japan vlog. We are currently still in Hiroshima, but we're gonna head out soon to catch a train and go to Osaka. And I'm super, super excited. But before we go, I wanted to try out the Starbucks matcha tea latte. This stuff you can get at the convenience store and I love matcha so much. So I'm very excited to try this. It tastes really good. Oh my gosh. I need to get more of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish this off. We already finished packing up all our stuff, so we're just gonna head to Osaka now. So we made it to Osaka. Um, we just dropped off our luggage at our Airbnb. It wasn't ready yet, but we were allowed to drop it off. Now we're walking to this nail salon I found on Instagram because I do want to get my nails done here. So I'm gonna see if I can get it done now or if I can just make an appointment. So yeah, that's the plan so far, and it is extremely quiet, like, there is no one on the street right now. It's like extremely, extremely quiet. Oh, my hair tie just fell off. Okay, I'm just gonna retie this. But yeah, made it to Osaka. Well, that was a fail. It just broke off. <laughs> So we're finally checking into our Osaka Airbnb. So when you walk in, this is the kitchen. It's a lot bigger than the other two we stayed in. I think here's the toilet. Oh yeah. And that toilet's also a little bit bigger. Then we come into here. Get your TV, mirror, and there's like a little couch. And then that's the beds over there. So this one's a lot bigger and I really, really like it. Um, there's a balcony out here, but it's like nighttime now, so. Yeah, that's our Airbnb, a little overview. This one's so much nicer, a lot bigger. So we just made it back to our Airbnb as you guys would have saw the mini tour. But yeah, with my last update, that area was super, super quiet. We ended up going to the city where there was heaps of, heaps of tourists. It's a lot more touristy than Tokyo in my opinion. But we did go to that Don Tonbori place where it's like a lot of street food and we did try a lot of different Japanese food which you guys probably would have saw the past clips that was really cool I really do recommend you guys go there it's like a really fun place yeah I didn't end up getting my nails done I did book an appointment for Tuesday don't know if I'll still do it just because it's really pricey more pricey than I was thinking but you know we'll see but yeah I'm gonna get ready for bed because tomorrow is a big day we're gonna head to Universal Studios it's both our first times there so I'm super excited for that that is my update for today I'll catch you guys in the morning good morning so we are walking to the train station we are heading to Universal I have my green tea latte again once again I'm addicted don't judge me and I also have foundation on my white shirt that's why I never wear white but anyway I'm super super excited to head to Universal it's our first time like I said last night I'm just so excited it is a little late like we kind of got out a little late it's already like 10 a.m. so hopefully we can go on a lot of the rides um but yeah i don't think i'll be talking like talking vlogging while we're there because probably gonna be music playing in the background but anyway on our way and i'm excited So we 
are back in our room, finally, and I'm snuggled up in my blanket. My feet are numb. Universal was nice, like I had a lot of fun. We ended up only going on to three rides because the waiting time was just so crazy. And we expected it, but we expected it to be an hour wait. But a lot of the rides, like towards the end of the day, it was getting close to like two to three hour wait. And my foot was just like so sore, so numb. I could not be stuck waiting in line for like three hours for one ride. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was fun. I do think it's a little bit pricey, but I guess it's universal. But yeah, I would still recommend you go if you've never been. Just check it out, see how you like it. I definitely want to go to the other universal in America and just see, you know, what that's like. Will I go again? Probably not, just because it's just way too crowded and it's just way too busy. And you gotta wait for too long. I think paying 90 bucks, because that's how much it is in New Zealand if you convert it. Paying 90 bucks for like four rides, waiting one or two hours for each ride. I don't know, I really don't think it's worth it, but you know, go if you haven't been. But if I had any advice that I learned from today, I would say definitely go in the morning if you want to avoid the crowd. We noticed that towards the end of the day, like the later it got the longer the lines got like the longer the waiting time was so i recommend you go when it opens we went a little bit later than it opened so yeah go when it first opens the waiting time will be a lot shorter but yeah me and harry are gonna head to the convenience store grab some food grab some water and we're gonna call it a night i'm gonna like knock out can you see how red my eyes are like i'm gonna knock out but yeah tomorrow we're still spending the day in osaka so i'll see you guys in the morning good morning so i just finished filming my trying japanese candy and snacks video this is the aftermath all the mess but i do have a nail appointment at 12 o'clock i think i will go and just see the price like the final price and see what it's like but yeah we're pretty late to it so we better get going we're gonna just explore osaka and then tomorrow and the day after we're gonna be exploring kyoto but yeah we're already running late so i'm gonna wrap things up see you guys in a bit got my nails done So we are back at our Airbnb now. I got my nails did. This literally took three hours, which I did not expect to take that long. I am really happy with how it looks. It was a little bit more pricier than what I would pay back at home, but the service was amazing. Like the way they did this, this acrylic, is not damaging to my actual nail. They don't use a machine to like scrub down the surface of my nail they do it themselves with a file also this acrylic it's not a plastic acrylic the way they made this actual tip is with the acrylic powder which is something i never seen before and it's very different so yeah it's just like glitter tips pink glitter tips i got them a bit like a little too long but yeah i highly recommend them i'll write their instagram name here just in case if you guys want to go there as well, I do recommend them. They're very professional, the service was great. I think the amount that I paid for, like I think it's worth it. I was in there for three hours. She took like two hours just to get the shape right, filing down my nails, and then she took like an hour just to do the glitter. So like that service was, anywho. Then we went to the, what is it called? The Osaka front where the, I think that's like the main city in Osaka. We went to this thing called the floating garden. It's like an observatory. Yeah, probably won't go to any of those views for the rest of the trip just because it looks all the same. But luckily it wasn't like too expensive. It was like 1000 yen for one person. So it wasn't too much, but still like pricey either way. But anyway, we're going to Kyoto tomorrow and we're still staying at this Airbnb. We're just going to travel the hour from Osaka to Kyoto. So yeah, that is going to be a day on its own and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So right now we are on our way to Kyoto. We are heading to the Monkey Park. It is a late start. It's like 11.30 and it takes about like an hour and a half to get to Kyoto. So we'll be there like around 1 or 2 which I don't know, I think it's fine. We've been like really tired and We've been just wanting to sleep in. We're gonna start exploring Kyoto now. So I'm really excited for that and hopefully you guys can hear me over all the cars and everything. So yeah, super excited. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm not doing a makeup tutorial, but yeah, let's go ahead and get the day started.
Lunchtime, we've got udon, Harry got some tofu and some soba. So I'm back in my bed, ready to give my end of vlog daily talk. Pretty much what had happened today, we got to the monkey park around 1 p.m. which is super super late but it was an awesome experience. If you guys ever come, like go to the monkey park, it's so stinking cute. Again, really wildlife, like the not getting abused and not caged it's really free for them after that we had lunch and by the time lunch was done it was about like 4 p.m and a lot of things in kyoto are like shrines temples gardens all that kind of stuff and they all kind of close around five to six getting to those shrines and temples and whatnot would have taken about like 50 minutes to an hour so there was honestly no point of us doing anything else in kyoto because everything was going to close i did kind of get upset because tomorrow is our last day in kyoto like our last full day there's a lot of stuff that we wanted to do that we couldn't do um, because everything was closing because we did have a late start a travel tip if you guys are ever coming here I do recommend you spending the day in Kyoto because a lot of things do close and Kyoto is more like it's more peaceful and it's more like temples and shrines so go there during the day and then come to Osaka at night because a lot of things in Osaka close towards the night time it's more like a city so that's like my kind of tip what I've learned from today we learn from today and tomorrow we're gonna wake up super super early not super super early but like earlier than what we did today and we're gonna go back to Kyoto spend the whole day there and yeah and do all the things that we couldn't do today and we're gonna wear kimonos tomorrow which is really exciting I've been looking forward to this day for a while I'm excited for tomorrow so yeah I'll catch you guys in the morning good morning so right now we are gonna head out and we're gonna head down or head up or head down to Kyoto it is 10 a.m. it is a little bit later than we were thinking of leaving but we know our way around we know we're not gonna miss any trains or get onto the wrong train we'll probably be there before well before noon so that should be fine but I got my hair in a low bun because I feel like that's the style you wear when you wear a kimono but yeah it's our last day here in Osaka slash Kyoto so tomorrow we're heading back to Tokyo. So yeah, just gonna enjoy this day, explore Kyoto a little more, what we couldn't do yesterday. So let's just, let's just get going. bamboo grove in our kimonos so pretty I picked out the pink one cute little bag cute little shoes they're actually more comfortable than my actual shoes so literally this part is hard it's solid I can't breathe <laughs> lunch time So now we are back in our room and I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Today was a really, really good day. Very tiring though. It was a lot of fun to dress up in the kimonos. We did only stay in it for one hour. We had two hours that we paid for, but it was really hot and it was really hard to walk in and I couldn't breathe, so. So we ended up returning it earlier than we paid for, but it was a good experience and we got a lot of cute photos and everything like that. So it's a good memory and it's like just experiencing the culture you know and then once that was done what did we do we went to this shrine that's really popular it's like with the orange orange fences that was cool I don't know I feel like 
shrines and temples are not really our thing because to us it just seems like the same and I'm sure it's not and I'm sure someone out there appreciates the work and everything like that but to us it's just the same old same old you know so we weren't there for too long and then we ended up going back to Don Tonbori we ate shopped around you know the usual that is pretty much gonna be my Osaka slash Kyoto vlog tomorrow we're heading back to Tokyo for the last six five-ish days this Japan trip is slowly coming to a wrap and it's crazy now that we've spent some time in every city that we plan to go to right now I would say Tokyo is probably my favorite city so far just because Osaka and Kyoto, it's really nice and I think I would have loved it But I just feel like it's very touristy Like although Tokyo is very touristy, there's a lot of city people there Like you can tell there are city people there But here, it honestly feels like we're in China or something Because all the tourists are here You don't really see much like locals other than like the workers People walking around, they're all speaking Chinese or Korean So they're all tourist people and it just kind of, I don't know Doesn't feel like Japan in a sense But that's just just like my take on it I still love it it's just a little bit too touristy for me and just walking around and getting everywhere it's like it's harder and I'm like an introvert I just don't like being around people so I just really enjoy Tokyo a lot so I'm excited to go back and we have like kind of like a second chance to do the things that we didn't get to do the first week we were there but yeah that's gonna wrap up my Osaka and Kyoto vlog and I'll see you guys in my next vlog bye